How's it going, everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson here with Crew Technologies, helping you learn how to create an app using a SQL database. Well, using the data from a SQL database. The tool we will actually be using to create the app is going to be one called AppSheet. Now, AppSheet is a fantastic platform that we here at Crew Technologies fully support and buy in on. We uh, use it every day to help companies and people build fantastic apps much faster than native development and because of that at a much lower cost. It is a no-code platform which helps anyone be able to learn it and if you need any help that's where we come in. We're creating tons of videos to help you do just that. Now let me get to the actual point of the video, how to actually create the app. Now First of all, just so you know, this video is assuming you already have data in a SQL database ready to be used. If you haven't set up your SQL database, please do that first and then come back to this video. If you need help doing that, you can contact us or comment down in the comment section and let us know that you'd like a video uh, where we show you how to set up a SQL database. But from here on out, we will assume that you've already done that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the app sheet page. And if you've never signed up before, this is what you'll see. And you're gonna go ahead and hit this to start for free. And choose the authentication provider you would like to sign up to AppSheet with. Um, we usually use Google for all of our stuff, but since we've already signed up, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to where I'll be doing the rest of the video. Once you've signed up using whichever authentication provider you prefer, you'll see a page a lot like this, except probably with fewer apps. Uh, once you're here, you're going to, gonna, excuse me, you're going to want to go to the My Account page, and this is where we're going to add the data. Another disclaimer here, in order to deploy the app with a SQL account, or excuse me, with a SQL database, you're going to need a business plan. You can go over that in the pricing sections um, under AppSheet. We'll include some links in the description below if you'd like more information. Now to add the database, you see we've got a lot associated with our account. Uh, you'll hit the add data source. Once you've clicked this, you're going to want to hit cloud database. Now it is possible to host an on-premise SQL database, but we're going to be doing the rest of this excuse me, the rest of this video using the cloud database. Now I'm going to back up and go to an example one we've already created. It looks exactly the same. Um, the crew construction app. And now we'll go through the different sections of this. Now, again, assuming you've already got your database set up, these are the different pieces you're going to need. First, what type of SQL database are you using? We're using MySQL. Next, how do you connect to your server? Now we're connecting using an IP address, uh, but you also might have um, some different things that need to go here. Very, very commonly we see an IP address being used. That's gonna go here. Database is the name you want displayed in AppSheet. You'll see we have crew construction right here. Next, pretty self-explanatory. You've got your username and then the password. Let me check that the password I, yep. And then whether or not you're going to need to um, require SSL. Next, you're gonna hit test connection. And if you didn't have any issues, it should look like this and you can authorize your access. Now, a very common issue we see people having is that the connection was blocked for some reason, um, that they couldn't access the database. If that's the case, you're probably going to want to visit this documentation here. We will include it in the description below as well. But what this has is a list of IP addresses you're going to need to whitelist on your cloud database or on-premise database to allow AppSheet to connect to SQL. Now, this is a lot of IP addresses, and they are adding to the list as their um, servers grow. But you can subscribe to, for notifications to know when you need to add another one. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and give it another try. 
and you should be able to authorize access. Once you've done that, the database, and go ahead back to my account, will show up, it theoretically should be your top one, in your account sources. Now, see, we've still got ours down here, crew construction, you can remove it if you need to at any time. Head back to my apps. Now, once you have that, we're going to start a new mobile app. So now we'll start with our own data, choose a category. Ours is under construction. So we'll just go ahead and say other for now. And then we're gonna choose our data. Next, this pulls up all of the databases or data sets you've got associated with your account. So we need to go to the crew construction and you can choose which table to start with. Again, this assumes you already have your database, um, your schema set up. We're going to start with equipment and it starts setting up your app. Now, this could take a little bit of time depending on how much data you have, uh, but once you get in, we'll see we've got a little emulator on the right side. We are starting on the UX, but we're gonna switch over to the data section and we've got our equipment. It even automatically sets up a view for you. Fantastic. I'm gonna switch over here. We're gonna change the label from this ID uh, to the equipment name, and we'll immediately see this change. Extremely useful. Now, you probably have more than one table, so you're gonna click, excuse me, click Add New Table, hit Crew Construction, and we're gonna add the employee table. Now, once you've done this, you can see, you can choose whether the app is going to have update permission, add permission, delete permission, or read only permission. We usually like to do just updates and ads inside the app. Add this table, loads for a little bit, and we see the employees table is now in the app. Whoop, getting some notifications. <laughs> gonna close those down. All right, once you've done that, you'll notice we've also, it's also automatically created an employee view for us. Now there's so many things you can do from this point. And if you'd like to know what you can do, please go ahead and visit our other videos. But as of right now, you do have an app filled with data from your SQL database. Um, you can even come in here and view your data um, in the app sheet side. Um, excuse me, on the app sheet side where it shows uh, your data, data types, things like that. You can view source, um, which usually, if you're using things like a Google Sheets, you can, it'll actually send you back to the Google Sheet. Um, you can change what the views look like. If you don't like this view, you can change it to a table view and automatically your emulator will update to reflect the changes you've made. Um, if you've got pictures, you can do a gallery view. We don't in this, but it's still, it's pretty slick looking view. Um, you've got your detail views where you can see detailed information about each of your rows. A form view where you can input new data. Um, right now this table doesn't allow new entries, but uh, that's easy to change. Come in here and do ads. And um, once we saved that, it would allow, this error would go away. But you can see now we can add new new data. And you've got other views you can use as well. Cards, pretty handy views. Um, you can add behaviors, actions, and workflows if you want reports to run at different times of day. Um, or workflows if you want emails to be sent when a new piece of equipment is added. So many different things you can do using AppSheet. This is just the very basics. But again, if you'd like to know more, visit our channel and see what other options are available to you. Thank you so much for visiting. We hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks, guys. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.